What is the crack everyone? My name is Owen Sheehan. I'm here today with Country Life in the beautiful West Limerick and my home. And we have this really beautiful Weber Spirit 2 barbecue. So it is barbecue season, it is garden party season. And a barbecue is a really important element to have if that is, uh, if you're having parties at home. So this Weber Spirit 2 is a really beautiful option. It is a, an awful lot of space. So it's piping hot at the moment. I have the burners on. So there's three gas burners. There's a lot of open space in the grill, which is really important. If you're cooking a lot or if you have a different selection of meats, you want a bit of space. So plenty of room, um, a nice cooling rack on top. And also there's a really handy option here is that the side hob here for sauces. If you have like a barbecue sauce or a hot sauce, have it on the hob beside heating up. You have these nice little side hooks to hang all your utensils and space underneath. So it has everything you kind of want from a barbecue itself in terms of plenty of space, a really handy element to heating sauce on the side. But for me personally, there's nothing worse than having everything piled up on one small little shelf on your sauces, your plates, your thongs, everything. So lots of space, there's room underneath here to put any uh, plates, to have them heating up. And again, the main star is the grill itself. So again, tree burner grill, lots of space, cooling rack. And there's a really cool option here is that eye grill. So this is kind of a new feature that syncs with your iPhone. So you probe your meat, your phone will track it via the probe, via the barbecue itself, and your phone will tell you when the perfect temperature is ready on your meat. So this barbecue is compatible with the eye grill itself, a really cool option. So if you want to completely master your barbecuing skills, it's kind of flawless now to a degree, okay? So I have some chicken wings here just marinating in a really simple marinade. So some olive oil, soy sauce, Cajun spice, some hot paprika. Sit in that as long as you can. We're gonna drip feed these in. Rossi might give me a hand if he comes into this frame here. We're gonna drip feed these into the uh, grill itself. So really important roaring hot grill. They'll cook really quickly. You should hear a sear as soon as I put it on. Like so, sounds good. So we're gonna get these on. We're gonna not gonna do too much to them to begin. Get them on the grill. And we're gonna let them cook for three, four, five minutes per side. And we're gonna get a really nice black sear marks from the grated grill itself, okay? We're gonna keep an eye on them. If they're starting to burn or they're starting to cook too much, we can take them off. When they're done, I can put them on the cooling rack so they won't stop cooking, but they'll be off that intensive heat, okay? So we can get these on, we'll check back in, and we'll finish them up. As the chicken wings are kind of cooking, I'm watching the bigger and smaller ones. The smaller ones are cooking a small bit faster, so I put them up on my cooling rack, so they mightn't be fully cooked, but they don't need that harsh sear anymore. So we put them on the top rack, we can still close it down, and they'll keep cooking on that top rack. But they're all pretty much good to go. So what we'll do is we'll pull them off onto our plate here. I'll just say a couple here just to show you. I have some blue cheese dipping sauce on the plate. You can do any dipping sauce you like. You can do a hot sauce, you can do a mayonnaise. Blue cheese works really well, even some celery sticks. And you can see the beauty with those grill marks is that you have that really kind of nice black and grill marks. The skin goes quite crispy and it does not take long. So again, chicken, especially on chicken wings, chicken thighs, won't take long to cook on that searing hot heat. So get that nice grill marks, keep moving them towards the end, get them off onto the cooling rack if you think they're gonna to get too browned. But again, you get a beautiful high stack of chicken wings, chicken thighs, cooked really simply. Again, the beauty of having three burners is that you can kind of space them out. You could do burger, you could do chicken, you could do sausages, you can do buns, you can do veg. There's a whole load you can do when you have the space instead of a small little barbecue. So again, if you have a sauce, heat it up on the side. If you have your eye grill, put your probe in your chicken. That'll tell you when it's fully cooked. There's a reason it's a really highly respected barbecue. There's so much to it. There's so much you can do with it. So if you are in the market for a really good grill you want out in your back garden, this is available on the countrylife.ie website and in some selected stores. So call in, have a look at it. And if you do enjoy it, keep on cooking.